This is Jeff Gentry, BPA Bloodstain Pattern Analyst. I have created several impact spatter patterns and today I'm doing some calculations. So I wanted to show something uh, when you're doing your calculations. So you've got hundreds of little impact spatter pattern or stains here. But when you're doing your actual calculations and your measurements, so I'm looking at just one little individual stain out of hundreds of impact spatter stains. If you look at some of my previous videos, you can see how I do it with the wood block. Um, so it's all done in a controlled environment. Nobody, of course, is hurt in these videos. Um, but when you go to do the calculation and the measurements, if you're measuring an individual elliptical stain, you do not measure all the way out to the end. You don't measure this little tail. That's almost an artifact um, of the uh, blood hitting the surface and then kind of dragging across the surface. So all you're going to measure is just this little elliptical part in the middle. That's the actual stain part that you're going to use for your calculations. So looking at this here, I would say this is about a one, two, three, four, five, about six and a half millimeter in length stain. And then you also measure your width. So the width is one millimeter. Okay, so the width of the stain is one millimeter. The length is six and a half millimeters. So you can use that calculation to determine the angle of impact. And by angle of impact, I mean, so this stain traveled from somewhere out here in this point. It contacts the surface, drags across the surface, and creates that tail. So you're looking at the degree angle that this stain hit the surface. So if you're looking at it from the side, it's going to be something like this. So you're using trigon trigonometry and triangle math to calculate the degree angle that these stains hit the surface. And once you calculate them all out, you can do the math and determine the area of origin, which is the point in space where that impact occurred. So this is Jeff Gentry, BPA, Bloodstain Pattern Analyst, just demonstrating how you correctly measure an impact spatter bloodstain.